Hey guys, Bo Bernay Frank here. We are back for another episode regarding how to help emerging artists create work that is both meaningful and fun to make. So today I'd like to introduce you to my best friend, my best friend that's always had my back ever since I started oil painting. Let's give it up for Liquin. Now Liquin is something that was introduced to me a couple years back by my artist mentor. This is a medium, it's also a drying agent. And this changed my oil painting experience because I actually started out with linseed oil and I found that linseed oil is just too oily. It's too kind of just like gooey and it has this, this way of yellowing over time just like every other drying agent but I noticed that if you don't use the right amount or the right consistency between that and turpentine it can definitely affect your piece and maybe I wasn't trained properly in how to use linseed oil but Ever since I met Liquin, I don't feel like I need to cheat. Liquin's going to be my best friend. So basically, how you use Liquin is pretty cool. Um, let me give you an example. And say I want to do a, a darker blue. So get some dark blue. I don't want it to be that dark blue, so I'm going to kind of dirty a little bit. I add some brown in there. And then maybe a little bit of black, just to give it more of a grayish tone, rather than a really vibrant ultramarine blue. So now that I got this color right here, it's still very thick in paint, so if I apply that, it's going to be a very strong effect on the canvas. I don't want it to be that strong, and when I add some liquid to it, what it does is it basically dilutes the paint and makes it semi-transparent. And this semi-transparent, when I add it on, it's not going to completely cover the coat below it. It's going to remain still a very light, semi-transparent color. And that's what I'm looking for with the water. I want this translucency in it. I don't want thickness in paint. I want this very soft pastel tone. And Liquin is awesome for helping me do that. Uh, this bottle might cost around, I want to say $35, maybe $40, depending on what store you're at. And maybe on the country, it might be more expensive. But if you go to like Aaron & Brothers and you buy this, they have a coupon code online. It used to be 50% off 50 off one item. I think right now it's 20% off one item. But hey, it's 20% off that gets to stay in your pocket. I go through a ton of this. So this is basically the remnants of what my last bottle looks like. And this is gonna be the one that replaces it. So liquid is awesome. Definitely check it out. It's changed my life. It's helped me so much with my painting experience. It's made it so much more enjoyable but there are some things to keep wary about. So things to keep in mind, this is a drying agent, which means that oil paints take a long time to dry and this makes it dry a little bit less. Some paints will last longer in drying, like whites. Colors like black will dry overnight almost. So what happens, say you use this, you're like, yes, I love this effect, I'm gonna use some liquid. Great, I'm gonna lightly wash it off in my turpentine uh, container. Wrong, you need to really you need to really deep cleanse that brush because liquid is a sticky material. You have to make sure that you wipe it off with a paper towel. You need to make sure that you you go in with terp with the turpentine, try and get it off as much as possible. Then you're gonna go to the sink, you're gonna soap rinse it, then you're gonna maybe add some conditioner to the brush to make it soft again. These are just ways to keep your brushes from drying out and getting all sticky and hard with liquid. Liquid is awesome, but as long as you take care of your brushes, you'll have absolutely no problem with them. Another thing, liquid, you see this color? It's a little bit yellow, right? Liquid is a yellowing agent. It will yellow over time, but it's such a light shade of yellow and linseed oil does the same thing. So make sure that when you use it, don't go crazy with the liquid. Use just enough so you get the effect that you want. And also when you build a lot of coats, it's okay to use liquid. Your paint is gonna eventually give it that that richness and that depth, and you're not going to feel like you're getting yellowed out in your paintings. But for instance, when your painting's done, and say, some people I've heard actually use liquid to use it as a varnish to keep it, to protect the paint, but also give it that unified kind of sheen. It's not glossy, but it does deepen the color. So if you paint with black and then the next day it's dry, it's going to be like a faded black. If you go in with liquid, it'll bring out all those colors again. So sometimes artists, what they do, say it's dry and they can't really tell what they're painting because it's black everywhere, you can actually grab some 
um, paper towel, grab some liquid, whatever, and then you just put on the canvas in the spot that you want, and what it does is it brings out the light, brings out the color, adds a little bit of a sheen, but without making it glossy. So, I think these are all awesome reasons to use liquid. If you don't want to use liquid, that's totally fine. I respect your decision, but it will definitely help you out a ton, especially if what you're looking for is building a lot of coats. Because if you're that person that just does one or two coats, not really in the mood for liquid. But if you want to do a lot of layers, maybe do a little bit of realism, add some nice depth to your paintings, liquid is going to help you out with that. So I really hope you liked this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, come back for more episodes regarding how to help out emerging artists.